Aha! Phoenix Flare Thick Boy has found a different shirt that he can wear. And it just happens to be a shirt for his favorite card store in the Georgia area. He likes everything about it except for the name. But then again, he doesn't like his own channel's name, so maybe he just has a problem with names. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combat tutorial video. I've been doing quite a few of these recently because they're kind of interesting to do. You know, exploring the way things work, exploring what's exploitable in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, and all that sort of nonsense. So today what I'm going to show you is another Mermail combo. This one is going to be a little bit more specific in terms of what it requires, but it is going to be another Gumblar and Mulan Glacier complete hand loop of full six cards, and basically an extra link on top of that. So, this time we're not going to start with Neptibus, we're going to start with Gen X Undyne, because some people have been asking me whether or not it's possible for these plays to be done if you start with Gen X Undyne, and yes, it is very much possible, but because Neptibus is such a key part of most of those combos, adding that second Dragoons to your hand, and uh, Undyne doesn't do that for you, because of this key difference, most of these combos just require more cards. So the combo I'm going to show you today is Undyne plus Mermail Abysteus plus any water monster, well not even a water monster, just any monster that can special summon itself. Aqua Spirit's applicable, Swap Frog is applicable, um... Having Nimble Angler in your hand to discard is applicable because that summons more waters from your deck. Uh, having, hell, Monster Reborn works. You just need something to, like, put one extra monster on the field in a lot of these combo sequences. Instant Fusion works for literally any Instant Fusion target. Um, I've said Swap Frog, i said Nimble Angler. Uh, another Teus works. There's a lot of different things that are, you know, usable here, but basically you just need to offset the fact that you don't get the extra Dragoons by just offsetting it with another monster, uh, because like that's actually super important. But anyway, combo starts with normal summon, Undyne, use Undyne's effect, send Dragoons to Grave so that it triggers, and add controller to your hand. And this controller is actually kind of important for the combo sequence, it's actually kind of weird how that works. But so off this Dragoons you're going to add Neptibus to your hand, and then if you had Nimble Angler instead of this Aqua Spirit you'd obviously be discarding it for the Teus, but because we have the setup that we have currently, we're going to just be discarding Neptibus. There's obvious ways where you can change this around. It should be pretty clear how the things get changed. But so your Neptibus that got discarded is going to revive the Dragoons, the Teus is going to search for the Gund, and everything is all hunky-dory. So, Dragoons get summoned anywhere non-specific, doesn't matter per se. You're just going to go make Reaper Dacus with it, and then if your card is, like, Monster Reborn, if your card is, like, Swap Frog or whatever, you're going to summon it here. Like I said, if you uh, had used Nimble Angler and discarded that for Teus and kept the Neptibus in your hand, then you'd have the uh, Nimble Beaver or Sunfish here. The other one would have been on the field to be linked away with in the Undyne into the Reaper Dacus. So there's multiple different ways that you can obviously just see how it structures itself and how it presents itself. Uh, basically, just play around with this. 1,000% uh, just play around with it. Put these different combinations of cards in your hand and play around with them and see where you get to um, on the same sort of uh, uh, play sequencings that I'm showing you here. But so anyway, we're going to use the Reaper Dacus effect, changing type, turning this Aqua Spirit into a dinosaur, and then we're going to go into the Summon Sorceress with the Reaper Dacus and the Aqua Spirit in this case, and we're not going to use the Summon Sorceress effect, but it is pointing at the Teus, so we are going to use it to summon another Teus from our deck which is going to allow us to go into another card that needs to just be kind of banned, possibly, because it is Scapegoat turn one, and that is Galaxy Tomahawk. This deck is just 1,000% one of the top abusers of this card. Like, this is in an insane card for this type of, of, of play. Like, Gofu is banned, but that summons two tokens and you have to hard draw it, whereas any deck that has any sort of accessibility pool into level 7s can just make this and literally do what I'm doing right now. Uh, like, that's not okay in certain aspects of, uh, of like the game's theory and discussion. But anyway, you're going to make two tokens into Paroxy Dragon right here, and you are going to then make a Firewall with Summon Sorceress and another token right here. You're leaving the Tomahawk in the zone next to where Firewall is going to be for a very specific reason. And then you make Nightmare Phoenix or Cerberus depending on which side of the board you're working on. And you're going to trigger the Firewall Dragon's effect because the Galaxy Tomahawk left the zone. You're going to special the Gen X controller from your hand. And you're going to make that into a Link Spider on top of the Firewall. So now from here, what we're at is we're at a point where we have exactly five waters in Grave. 
if you had discarded Nimble Angler, you would still have um, you'd still have the Neptibus in your hand, and you'd have two extra waters in your grave. There's a lot of different ways that this gets changed around. It's very, very obviously going to be something that adjusts based off what your other card was. If it's Swap Frog, then you just get to banish Swap for Ronin Toad and do some other stuff, but there's obviously going to be the water that you discarded for Swap in the graveyard. A bunch of different other factors. But we have five waters in Grave at this point, and we've got a Firewall Bounce for three. So no matter what combo sequence you're going down, you can obviously just bounce waters to your hand up to three, and that's going to correct uh, the number of waters you need for Moulin Glace in every single different starting combo sequence. I cannot stress that enough. So anyway, going to activate Firewall here, and we're just going to bounce three waters to our hand. Dragoons, Neptibus, and Teus. In this instance, those are just the best three. Uh, the Dragoons, obviously, because you can discard it for Mermaid. The Neptibus has not used its first effect yet, so we're actually going to abuse that very shortly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Nightmare Unicorn with these two. The Proxy Dragon and the Link Spider. And then Firewall Dragon's effect is going to trigger. We're not going to use Nightmare Unicorn's effect. And we're just going to special summon this Neptibus over here. Then we're going to use Neptibus's effect. Send Dragoons. Add Dragoons. Now we have two Dragoons in our hand. We're, we're really set for, uh, for how this stuff can go. But so now off this, we're going to add Moulin Glaze to our hand. All right, sorry about the hard cut. The power went out in my house, so I had to basically wait for power to come back on and then start doing this again. So whoopsie. Uh, luckily, it was only out for a few minutes. Uh, but so from where we are here, uh, where we are, where the recording previously left off, we're set up here, and we're going to use the Nightmare Phoenix to go into Nightmare Mermaid, which is going to trigger our firewall and is going to trigger our Nightmare Mermaid. So we're going to go Chainlink 1 Mermaid, Chainlink 2 Firewall. The Mermaid is going to discard the Dragoons from our hand, putting us at 4 Waters in Grave, and then this Firewall is just going to Special Summon a card out of our hand that is pretty inconsequential on what it is, as long as it's not our either Teus or our Gund. Uh, so if it's like any other monster in your hand, you could just keep the Dragoons. It doesn't really matter per se. But So draw 1 off the Mermaid, yes. And then this Dragoons, we're going to actually... I'm actually going to show you the route that summons Link Karibo back, like a regular Gumblar decks do, instead of the one that searches Sphere off Megalo. At this point, you could do either. You could add Megalo. It's very easy for you to drop Megalo um, after you Moulin Glace your opponent. Uh, but you also could just search for the uh, the Neptibus and do the Link Karibo way. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, just, to, just to show you the variation of, like, you can just do it that way instead of having to rely on Sphere, meaning that you could play Light of Sekka if you draw it, but this is not, like, an actual list of mine. This is, these are just placeholder cards, so, I mean, like, I, there might not even be Light of Sekka in my, uh, in my actual build if I were to play it at any sort of event. But, so what we have is we have four Waters in Grave, and we have this on the field as well as a full field. So what we're going to do is we're going to link into Nightmare Cerberus with the Dragoons and the Ibli, we're going to use the Ibli's effect. We're not going to use the Firewall special. So Ibli gets summoned over here. And now we have an open slot to summon this Moulin Glace. So we're going to summon this Moulin Glace over here. Rip two cards out of the opponent's hand. And now from here we are just open to do whatever we want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon Link Reba here. And then we have the capability of going Teus discarding either Neptibus or the Gund. It does not matter unless you do not have another level 1 in your hand. So you don't want to discard the Neptibus if that's the only one you have. Uh, if you had been able to keep the uh, Dragoons in your hand off of the previous play we just did, if you have any other water monster to contribute from your hand instead of the Dragoons, you could have easily discarded that, gotten some pluses off of it. Multiple different ways that this could be done. But So you're going to summon this Teus from your hand and you are going to link into Gumblar with the Unicorn and the Teus. So what you're going to do is link into these. The Firewall Dragon is going to trigger, and you're going to use that to special this Neptibus from your hand over here. There's no link arrow pointing to it, so you're completely fine. You don't have to worry about Gumblar triggering prematurely. You can get your full value out of Gumblar right here. So now you're going to use the extra linked effect of Gumblar, discarding two from your opponent's hand. And now from here, you've got the Mistar Boy in your extra, you've got the Trigate Wizard and the Extra Mermaid in your extra if you're doing the previous combo. The only reason it's there is for the previous combo I showed in the other video. But you have to get this Link Karibo off the field. Very easy for you to do, as well as you need to open up the zone that points this way. So you just do that. <laughs> it's super simple. You break the extra link by linking your Cerberus and this into this, 
and now you're all set to go. You've got the Link Karibo chilling in Grave, you've got the monster to summon off of it here, you've broken the extra Link, but you've kept your Mulan Glace on the field, so you don't have to worry about, you know, having to skip your next battle phase or anything like that, and so now you just pass turn. In phase, no. During the opponent's draw phase, yes. You're going to activate the Link Karibo, tributing this and summoning the Link Karibo back, Gumblaring for two, discarding two from your hand, and then discarding two from the opponent's hand. Your opponent has zero hand and has an Ibli on the field. They could, in theory, go into Nightmare Mermaid with this, uh, so you could just choose to not give them the Ibli. Uh, it's completely up to you, your own personal preference. So this is a regular way you can do it. Obviously, if you want to go down the Sphere route, if you didn't activate any Sekka's Lights in the game, if you want to go down the Sphere route, you easily can. That point where we searched for Neptibus, you could just search Megalo there, and when we dropped Teus discarding Gun, you could just drop the Megalo discarding those two. You take a raw Neg 2 doing that, but you get the Sphere, and then you link away into the Trigate Wizard here. You get to set the Sphere, flip it to get Lind here, and then you've still got the Link Rebo up in the extra monster zone, just chilling, so you don't have to deal with uh, your opponent using any extra deck spaces at all because they are properly extra linked. So, things to consider. But anyway, this video took a little bit more effort to make than I thought it was going to because of the fact that power flickered out of my house for a couple minutes because I'm pretty sure some dumbass ran into a pole at the front of the neighborhood or some other reason involving some sort of nature getting in my way so cheers to that but anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as per usual a positive comment some feedback or anything like that if you want to leave it i'd be glad to read it if you want to make some suggestions for other combo decks to look at or other combos that you're interested in seeing that i could possibly you know maybe work out some time into dedicating some research into the deck and looking at what I could find and try to optimize, then definitely let me know those suggestions in the comments down below as well. But if you're interested in live streams that I do semi-frequently, I haven't been doing that many over the past couple of uh, days because I've been preparing for the 200th YCS, but that will change as soon as I get back. I'll be going back to doing three live streams a week. If you're interested, link is in the description to my Twitch page. Go follow that and you'll be notified during my next live stream, as well as if you want to join my channel-specific Discord, where I also chat on a daily basis, as well as announce well in advance when my next live streams are going to be, then link to that is in the description of this video as well. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. As I've already said, thanks for your time as usual, and take care. I'll see you in the next video.